years left to have children. Fertility declines in her mid-30s, right? Well, not necessarily. And here to discuss some new research findings is fertility uh, doctor. He is a fertility specialist over at uh, University Hospitals, Dr. Ricardo Lorette de Mola. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. My pleasure. Let's talk about this study. Basically, what is it saying and, and what does it mean? Well, it basically means that the couples that are young usually have no fertility problems as expected. People who are over the age of 35 tend to have more fertility problems mm -hmm. and they usually take longer to be able to get pregnant. Okay. What was new about the study was the fact that we never expected people in their late 20s to have fertility problems and in fact we've never thought of this before. But what the study is basically telling us is that people between the ages of 27 and 35 may take an extra month or two to be able to conceive. Is that a big deal in your mind? Well, for someone who wants to have a baby today, a month or two may mean a lot. But the reality is that an extra month or two of waiting time is really not a big difference. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Why do you think the information is coming out now and, and why is it such a big deal now? Well, I think there's been a tremendous interest in society about this issue of professional life versus family life. Mm -hmm. There has been tremendous demographic changes in this country and uh, couples are waiting longer than before uh, to try to achieve a baby. At what age does it become dangerous for a woman to try to conceive to actually have a child? Well, from a statistical point of view, after the age of 35, there is an increased risk of anomalies in the baby, Down syndrome, and other chromosomal abnormalities. As patients get older and they reach age 40, the rate of these anomalies increases significantly and also thus the decreased chance of conception. Is there anything a woman can do to prevent this from happening as far as exercise, diet, or anything like that? Unfortunately not. This is basically something that is genetically predisposed mm -hmm. and pre-programmed. Um, the interesting thing is that uh, women today are very healthy, they exercise, they take very good care of their bodies, but, r but the reality is that the genetic predisposition for this, it's already uh, pre-marked in advance. Nothing so you can do about nothing it. Nothing you can do about what it. What about in men? When do men start slowing down when it comes to uh, conceiving and all of that? Another interesting part of the study was the fact that we've always thought of men as being fertile all their, all their lives. Mm -hmm. And this study actually showed that men after the age of 35, in fact, start having a decreased fertility. Mm. And it, the study was even more evident when you mix uh, over 35 uh, year old woman and an over 35 year old man together, their fertility was significantly more affected, mm -hmm. suggesting that men's fertility is also affected with time. Mm. What are you seeing at the fertility clinic where you work? What, what are you seeing? More and more people coming in with problems or with questions and things like that these days? Yes. Um, the, all the fertility clinics in this area are very busy. There are a lot of couples out there that need some assistance and uh, help with fertility. Um, and we see this demographic trend across the country, particularly in states where there is mandatory coverage for fertility uh, treatments and, and, and diagnostic workups. Mm -hmm. There is an overwhelming amount of patients coming in for seeking treatment and help. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us this morning and My shedding pleasure. some insight on this new research. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Our guest this morning, Dr. Ricardo Loret de Mola, a infertility specialist at University Hospitals. 19 minutes after 8 o'clock is your time right now. Bad credit could make getting a job.